everyone. This video is going to be about the Ujjayi breath. The Ujjayi breath, the Ujjayi Pranayama, is the essential part of the yoga practice. Regardless of the style of yoga you're practicing, uh, your teacher probably asks you to incorporate the Ujjayi um, breath into your asana, right? into your movement. When you come into the yoga room, you probably hear this um, sound, often it compares to the sound of the ocean, right? The people breathing and create this sudden, very soft, a pleasant sound. So that is the Ujjayi breath. So why Ujjayi breath is so um, popular and why it's important to learn it, to incorporate it into the practice of asana, into the physical practice of yoga? Let's first take a look at the technique. So when we're breathing Ujjayi, we're trying to create a slight obstacle for the air inside of our throat. It's the same engagement which being created inside of your throat when you're whispering. Or if it's kind of hard to locate it, you can always inhale and exhale with the open mouth through the throat, like you're creating the sound A ah and HA. Ah. So inhale ah, and exhale HA. Ah. So it's a little easier because the air already comes through your throat. When you are mastering this, so you can close your mouth and start to breathe through the nostrils. But with the same idea of creating sound A ah or SA at the inhale and HA at the exhale. If you're confused about the technique, if you don't want to make sure that you're doing it right, you can take a look at the mirror while you're breathing Ujjayi. You should see that with each inhale, you feel the expansion in your chest in your shoulders and also you can uh, more clear see your collarbones right because of the changing in the air pressure they kind of sticking out a little bit so let's uh, discuss and take a look at a few um, kind of side effects which ujjayi has on our uh, system on our bodies and first one of the most important is ujjayi trains your attention when we come on the yoga practice, we're probably not only searching for the building of flexibility or strength of the muscles, I hope so, right? We're also looking for something much deeper. And often we look for um, a training our mind, a training our concentration, right? We're viewing this practice as a great discipline. So the Ujjayi practice cannot go unnoticed because you already create a certain tension in the throat so that draws the attention to the throat area and the Ujjayi breath creates sound. So this too can be your two anchors as you're practicing whenever you notice that your mind jumping and it doesn't mean that you're a beginner, right? The different times, the different days on the yoga mat are different. So sometimes you have a very hectic day and it uh, takes some time to kind of transition into our practice. So when your mind especially busy today, these two, the sensation in the throat and the sound of the breath, can be your two anchors where you constantly will be returning your attention, which means you will be training not only the muscles of the body, but also the muscles of your attention. The Ujjayi breath helps reduce stress and anxiety. When we breathe in Ujjayi, our breath becomes longer. So we're elongating our inhale and exhale. Why it happens? As I mentioned, when we're breathing Ujjayi, we get the same activation as if we would be whispering. And when we're whispering, our body uh, perceives it as we are creating a sound. And for the processing of the sound, our uh, temporal lobes are responsible, which is behind our ears. And when they get activated, uh, that inhibits our respiration. So our respiration becomes longer. And when the respiration becomes longer, we all know that uh, that help us to calm down, that help us to feel a little bit more um, at peace, right? Especially if you already had this sense of anxiety or um, uneasiness. So the slowing down in your breath will definitely affect your mental state and emotional state. It will work as a warm up. 
This is true. If you master the Ujjayi breath, you won't need hot yoga anymore. You can sweat even if you do a simple postures, even if you do it not in the hot room. Right? The Ujjayi breath, when it comes in the lungs, it's already warm because it goes through the obstacle inside of the throat, warms up for the temperature of your body and gets in your lungs warm. That's why when we continue breathing Ujjayi along with the physical exercise, it heats up our body. So we feel that we're sweating more, we feel that we, it's almost like you would be emanating the heat. That's why uh, the yoga room, even if it's, all, it's not warmed up with some external help, it should be feeling really warm inside when the yogi is practicing inside with the help of Ujjayi breath. It helps you to deal with the intensity of the practice. Yes, because uh, when you're breathing Ujjayi, it helps you to reduce your heartbeat. The experiments show that it will reduce it for about 10 or 20 beats per minute, which means that when you're moving through the more dynamic sequences, let's say it's a vinyasa flow or if it's a stanga vinyasa, all right, style sequence, often you're finding yourself that you need to maybe stop or if you're moving, you have this urge to gasp for the air. Maybe if you're just beginning of the practice, right? But when you're breathing ujjayi, it helps you to slow down the breath, uh, the heartbeat. So it helps you to maintain the, the sudden rhythm, right? The sudden rhythm of your breath. So you can be um, able to practice for a long amount of time. It trains your heart. When you're breathing ujjayi on an inhale, uh, the venous return increases, so our heart starting to uh, beat faster. And on an exhale, the venous return decreases. Now our heart starting to beat slow, uh, beat a little bit slower. So this bigger difference between the inhale and exhale, than compared to your normal regular breathing, will help you to increase the blood circulation towards your heart, and also will help you to uh, train the muscle of your heart. This, though, only apply to the ujjayi, which is being done during the physical practice, right? during the practice of asana, vinyasa, and other uh, physical elements of yoga. It trains the muscles of respiration. Because when we're breathing ujjayi, we already create a certain tension or obstacle inside of our throat, which means that our muscles of respiration has to work much uh, harder to pull the air in when we inhale and push it out when we exhale, which means that we're training these muscles and preparing ourselves for uh, the more advanced practices of pranayama, such as kumbhaka or uh, the holding of the breath. It helps you to stay safe during the practice. This one can be connected to um, what we were talking at the beginning of, the, of uh, this video, that um, ujjayi helps you to control your focus, helps you to uh, control your attention because very often we go through the practice mindlessly especially if some postures kind of already um, we used to them we kind of know what to do we often our body are on the yoga mat and our mind somewhere outside uh, of this area of the practice so when we're breathing ujjayi because we are keeping the attention within the body we are keeping attention in the present uh, moment, it's easier to set the limits, f feel the limitations of the body, experience which um, position or uh, which practice uh, can be safe for us and which practice maybe we are not uh, ready for yet. So that makes your practice safer and um, more stable and more soft. So when you're breathing ujjayi, you're probably not gonna um, harm yourself. It helps you to control the breath and change the breathing pattern. We're rarely aware of our breathing patterns because breath is something that happens spontaneously and automatically without us controlling it. So we probably never stop in the middle of the day and think, okay, let me see how do I breathe. But often we have a not very healthy breathing patterns. We often hold the breath when we are really thinking about something or we are angry or when we, we are um, kind of 
scared of something, right? And we are keeping this pattern even when we are not experiencing these emotions. Or maybe the breath becoming very shallow because of uh, the postural disbalance and closure of our diaphragm. So it's all kind of this puzzle of the little pieces which creates our unhealthy breathing patterns which can affect our mental state and emotional state. When you're breathing Ujjayi, you're starting to become aware of how you breathe. And you're starting to become aware of this new depth of your breath, the new length of your breath. When you're breathing Ujjayi, you can literally practice for a very, very long amount of time. Because you are keeping the control, you are helping yourself to go through the challenging postures, you stay completely in the body, it means you are safe in the postures and in the transition between the poses. And it helps you to steal your mind because the work with your attention and the very balanced and harmonious pace of your breath. And ultimately, the goal of yoga practice is Chitta Vritti Nirodha, the stillness of fluctuations of the mind. Have a wonderful practice.